Ordinary Shinji love Jerusalem, Zonger, Bama, said the Hordy, Jena Shant, and Bama, Kesar Dombo. Yamsun Joko, Mudoni, Bama, Johnny, Jesa, Don Kordam, Gando, Mambo, Kordi, Jesa, Dodu. Shinji love Jerusalem, Zonger, Bama, said the Omah, Banzer and Gurra, Bama, said the Omah, Banzer and Gurra, Bama, said the Omah, Banzer and Gurra, Bama, said the Oma hum bandar gara bama sada 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 ho jela da jang sora da bin ji do so gande ni be sab jos Nadan one bond up to Java down to down to Asim Perum Zanta Sur Jumden Dim Gumbo and Jagorayan Love Jans are low. I can go low to the need and turn it down and the razor. Jenny don't go to Jansu Jenny J. The Girl of Wombs and got out the beads on a margam and don't think where it is there. We don't talk and love to it that they are allowed to see and have done. ジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジ
，我要成佛，我一定要成佛。为了成佛，我今天来听这个课啊，这样子的发心啊，叫做菩提心。In terms of our motivation for listening to this evening's teachings, it is because we want to be、um, able to benefit all beings more effectively. And in order to do this, we need to attain Buddhahood. And it's in order to attain Buddhahood that we are listening to tonight's teaching. Ah, 那么我们作为一个人啊，人生啊，本来就是非常非常的短暂啊，非常的短暂。在这个人生当中，呃，要做到一个有意义的事情啊，是比较不容易的。Within the space of our very short lifetimes, doing something or achieving something that is actually quite meaningful is not so easy. 啊，我们每一个人啊，每一天都在忙碌，大家都在忙碌，一直到死为止，一直都这么忙碌。但是呢，这个忙碌是为什么？我们在这个我们所做的这些事情当中呢，真正有意义的事情还是非常非常的少。Of course, we are extremely busy and occupied every day of our lifetimes, right up until the moment of death. However, the reason for our busyness, in actual fact, the number of things that occupy us that are of real meaning are very few. 轮回啊，六道轮回啊，是啊很痛苦的啊。那么六道轮回当中，我们这一次呢，应该算是这个六道轮回当中的呃、啊、最幸福的啊，因为我们这次获得了人生啊，所以在六道轮回当中啊，就是相比之下，应该算是最幸福的。The six realms of samsara are filled with suffering. However,、uh, we probably, having human rebirth, should consider ourselves among the more lucky and the happier of the six realms. Ah,、uh, 那么为什么说我们应该是最幸福的呢？这个就是并不是说啊， uh, 我们吃的、穿的、用的比。其他的众生好，所以啊，并不是说，所以我们幸福。The reason for us being the happiest among the six realms is not because、um, what we are able to eat, drink, consume, or wear is of a better standard than those beings in other realms. 那么，为什么说我们是最幸福的呢？就是因为我们有很多的选择啊，我们可以成佛，可以解脱。啊，也可以往生西方极乐世界，等等，啊，就是有太多太多的选择，所以也因为我们有这么多的选择，所以说我们啊，在轮回当中应该算是最幸福的。Rather, the reason for us being the happiest among the six realms of samsara is due to the numerous choices at our disposal. We have, for example, options of Attaining liberation, enlightenment,、um, and going to Amitabha's pure land—it's on account of these choices that we have that we are the most happy. We must know that we have lived this life. We, even though we are in this world, regardless of what kind of role we play in this world, we have a place in this world. 啊，有地位，没有地位，有钱，没钱，啊，无论怎么样都好，我们每一个人都有这个选择解脱，或者是选择这个成佛啊这样子的机会。Regardless of what our individual identity is in this lifetime, whether we're a person of means or not, a person of status or not, we all equally have the opportunity of attaining Buddhahood. 啊，从这个角度来讲，啊，从这个角度来讲，我们的这个人生的确是非常不容易的，啊，非常的难得的。So it's from this perspective that our human birth is extremely rare, extremely precious. 那么，既然我们的这个人生有这么难得，啊，有这么珍贵，这样子的话呢，那我们应该懂得啊，珍惜
啊，珍惜这个人生。In given the rareness and the preciousness of this human birth, we really should、uh, learn to cherish it. 那么，珍惜的方法是什么呢？啊，所有的这些世俗的啊，所有的这些世俗的这些呃呃东西啊，我们啊，只能啊，只能拥有这么几十年。啊，那么我们走的时候呢，这些都是带不走，所以我们积累了太多太多的这个物质的财富。那么这个就是不一定是珍惜生命。In terms of how we should go about cherishing this human birth of ours, well, to start with all of the various material possessions that we can accumulate over the course of a lifetime, we certainly can't take them with us at the point of death. So this isn't necessarily a good way of cherishing our human re- our human existences. Ah, we, the whole world, all the people, including scientists, including scientists, all have a very big problem. 无解，一个非常严重的无解，或者是我们对这个人生的一个很严重的啊，这个错啊错误的观点。Many people in the world, including scientists and philosophers, have a very serious misapprehension or distorted understanding of human life. 那么这个错误的观点啊，给我们导致了太多太多的烦恼。啊，和痛苦。And this mistaken understanding or apprehension is the source of much suffering and pain for us. 这个错误的观点呢，当然有很多不同的错误的观点。我们首先讲的第一个，昨天也提到了啊，第一个错误的观点就是我们认为啊，这个无知可以给我们解决所有的问题。Of course, there are numerous mistaken ideas that we might have, but the first one we're talking about here is the notion that material objects are capable of bringing us happiness. Ah, this we have already talked about. The Buddhist teaching never denies that the material objects have their own value. For example, in our material life, if we don't have the material objects, we won't be able to survive. 物质是我们的最基本的生存的条件啊，这一点啊，这是它的价值。这个佛教里面啊，永远都不会否定的。As we mentioned last night, Buddhism does not negate or refute the value of material objects. Of course, material objects are the basis of our physical survival, and this is wherein their value lies. 所以佛教、嗯、对在家的修行人啊，对在家的修行人，还没有出家的修行人来说，他不会要求我们不要去赚钱，不要去做生意，不要去工作啊。佛教不会这样子要求。So it's for this reason that Buddhism does not、um, demand of lay practitioners, those who have not taken、uh, vows of renunciation, that they should not. Do business, make money, work, etc. Because Shakyamuni Buddha is very clear. One, ah, we don't have these conditions, we don't have these material conditions. Then, we can't have happiness. 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 Of course, the Buddha was extremely clear that for、uh, lay practitioners, without these things, it's not possible to survive. So、um, he did not oppose making money and holding down a job. 那么，佛对我们的要求是什么呢？就是，就是我们通过这些物质啊，生存下来了以后呢，我们应该有一个稍微比较啊，崇高一点的。生存的目标啊，这个就是佛对我们的要求。However, the demand that was made of us by the Buddha was that once we have established the basis of our material existence, that we have a goal that is higher than simply attaining material things. 
十七、十、十八世纪、十九世纪的时候，很多人觉得，包括西方人，很多人觉得，只要经济发展，只要有钱啊，就是我们的所有问题都解决了。所以，就是像佛教或者其他的宗教，这些都是不需要的。In the 18th and 19th centuries, many people, including many Westerners, believed that if we had money, if we had economic development, then、um, happiness could be achieved, and that、um, for this reason, religion was not necessary. Ah,、uh, 那个时候的人有这样子的想法，有这样子的看法是很正常，因为啊， uh, 那个时候的人。还没有接足啊，这个像今天啊这么庞大的物质财富。That people had thoughts like this back in these times is, of course, very understandable, given that they at that time had not yet experienced the extreme material affluence of the world we know today. 啊，那么二十一世纪我们现在啊，这个物质空前的发达，这样子的时候呢，现在就是越来越多的人，呃、啊，就发觉物质只能给我们解决一部分的问题，不能解决所有的问题。However, in the 21st century today, when we live in、um, an era of unprecedented material richness. An increasing number of people are coming to the realization that material things are only able to satisfy、uh, certain elements of our happiness. So, Buddhism. So Buddhism doesn't negate or refute the value of material objects. What it does refute is the notion that material objects are somehow all-powerful. 意思就是说，除了物质以外，我们还需要一些精神上的东西。That is that. In addition to material objects, we also need things that attend to our spirit or inner lives. 那么这些精神上的东西是什么呢？有各种各样的。但是呢，用佛教的观点来看，这个所有的精神上的这些有价值的、有意义的东西啊，可以归纳为呃三个主要道。Of course, in terms of Uh, resources for our inner well-being. There are many we could speak of, but from the point of view of the Buddhist tradition, these、uh, resources for our inner well-being can be summed up in the three principal aspects of the path. 那么第一个呢，我们昨天讲了，就是出离心啊。这个出离心是我们的呃学佛的呃动力。也就是学佛的基础，有这个出离心，我们才能够走上这个解脱的道路。Um, the first of these was, as we、uh, spoke about last night, renunciation. Renunciation is our motivation for studying the Dharma, and it's only with renunciation that we can enter onto the path of liberation. 那么这个出离心，我们怎么样从无到有啊？从有到啊增长啊，怎么样去这个修呢？那么这是我们昨天也讲过了，它有它有非常非常具体的修法，这个就是四加心，通过四加心啊修出离心。So in terms of how we go about cultivating ourselves from a state of having no renunciation to Um, possessing renunciation, and then once having renunciation, growing in our renunciation, there are there is an extremely、uh, concrete set of practices, and we mentioned them last night. They are、um, contemplation on the four thoughts that turn the mind from samsara. 那么我们今天在座的啊，所有都都是真正的想学佛的、想修心的人。这样子的话，希望大家。啊，一步一步的修。Since everyone here tonight are students of the Dharma who sincerely wish to commit themselves to practice, I hope that、um, you can all gradually,、um, gradually 
apply yourselves to the practice of these four thoughts. 呃，我们今像我们现在这样子的人生啊，非常的不容易，非常的难得。啊，这次我们就获得一个这样子的人生的时候呢，我们一定要知道啊，这个是非常不容易的。我们一定要知道珍惜。The fact that we have this human existence is an extremely rare thing,、um, and for this reason, we really need to、um, cherish it and understand its value. 那么，珍惜的方法呢，就是我们修心，要提升自己的心啊，这个。啊，生命。The best way of cherishing our existences is through practice to enhance the value of our human lives. 我们必须要有一个长远的人生的目标，这个就是往，这这个就是追求解脱。We need to have a very long-term goal for this lifetime, and this should be the achievement of liberation. 那么追求解脱呢？就是出离心啊，简单的说，我们发现啊，这个轮回啊，任何地方都有很多很多的痛苦，所以我们不想再轮回啊，我一定要解脱。只要有这样子的心啊，有一个这样子的决心，就叫做出离心。And this renunciation is the appreciation that、uh, suffering, that samsara, is characterized by all kinds of suffering, and turning、um, our minds away from all wishes of samsara, we orient ourselves to liberation. This is renunciation. 那么这个出离心也好，我们马上要讲的这个菩提心也好啊，这些都是。呃，这个修心它有一个过程啊，那么这个过程是三个字，就是文思修，就这三个。So whether it's renunciation or bodhicitta, as we're going to talk about this evening, there each of these qualities、um, has three stages to its practice, and these three stages are the study, contemplation, and meditation. 那么这个文思修这三个呢，是一个非常具体的方法。我们啊学佛，大家都觉得学佛好，就是有一个这样子的概念是不行的，必须要有一个具体的方法。那么文思修这三个就是具体的方法。Study, contemplation, and meditation is a very concrete. Um, approach to our practice. Many people have an amorphous idea of being students of Buddhism, but this is, in fact, not okay. We need to have a very con- concrete approach. 那么，闻思修这三个是什么意思呢？闻就是听闻佛法啊。我们啊，首先要去学习啊。比如说，我们修出离心、修菩提心的话，那么出离心怎么样去修啊？菩提心怎么样去修？这个修心的方法是什么样子？啊，呃，首先要去听，啊，这叫做闻。So the first of these study refers to the study or learning about,、um, for example, bodhicitta or renunciation. How we should go about practicing bodhicitta? How we should go about Practicing、uh, renunciation—it's the process of listening and listening to teachings on these subjects and learning、um, that we、uh, that is encompassed in the term study. 呃，那么佛教呢，跟其他的很多的宗教都是不一样的，因为这个佛教里面呢，它不仅仅是一个全人向善这么一个简单的啊、呃、这个信仰。它这个里面有太多太多的这个智慧啊，理论有很多很多的方法，所以我们必须要去学习啊，必须要去听。Uh, Buddhism is a religious tradition that is、um, distinct in many aspects from other religious traditions. There is much、uh, philosophy and doctrine and ideas entailed in the Buddhist tradition that requires us to commit ourselves to their study. 然后听这个，我们怎么样解决这个问题呢？首先，比如说像我们今天这样子面对面啊，有这样子的这个机会去听课的话。
，那么这个就是最好的方法。以后啊，就是不管是汉传佛教的也好，藏传佛教的也好，凡是。呃，有人讲法、讲佛法、讲这个真宗的佛法的时候呢，我们都应该去听。In terms of study, an opportunity like this evening, where face to face we have the opportunity of hearing the Dharma, this is really the best way to go about study. So in the future,、uh, whether it's Chinese Buddhism or Tibetan Buddhism, I hope that everybody makes the opportunity to、uh, go in person and listening to teachings. If we don't learn, we don't know how to learn the Dharma. For example, many things in our life, or many things in our work, we need to learn from school. We need to learn from school. 然后我们再去实际行动。同样的，学佛首先必须要学习。If we don't first learn about Buddhism, then we won't know how to go about its practice. It's the same as many other things that we do in life.、Uh, first, we learn about how to do them, say in a school context, and after we have learned about this, we then are able to go and put them into practice. 就像我们在学校里面啊读书的时候呢，也要听啊老师讲课，并不是我们自己看课本就懂啊，就是要听老师讲课。同样的，我们学佛的时候呢，首先要去学习，要去听啊藏传佛教、汉传佛教这些上师、法师啊他们的课。It's、uh, just as if we are when we are in school, we need to listen to classes taught by a teacher. It's not sufficient for us simply to read a book by itself. As with the Dharma, we need whether it's Chinese Buddhism or Tibetan Buddhism to listen to teachings given by、um, uh, Buddhist teachers. Ah, 但是我们像今天这样子面对面啊。将经说法，听这样子的机会不是很多，所以呢，我们要想另外一个办法来解决这个问题。Given, however, that opportunities like this evening, where we can listen to Dharma teachings face to face and not necessarily readily available, we also need to think about other ways of addressing this issue. 那么另外一个办法是什么呢？就是最好的方法就是通过网络啊解决这个学习的问题。The next best alternative available to us is to make use of teachings on the internet to satisfy our needs for study of the Dharma. 然后网络上呢有很多很多的课，我们都可以去听。比如说啊，这个修出离心的啊，修菩提心的，还有就是修空心的这些各种各样的这些修法，网络上啊有音频、有视频这些。都可以作为我们的学习的资料。The internet has a wealth of material available to us, whether in audio or video format, on topics like、uh, the cultivation of bodhicitta, renunciation, and emptiness. And all of these materials can serve as、uh, resources for our study of the Dharma. 比如说，我们在中国大陆上课的时候呢。大部分都是网络直播，啊，如果时差没有太大的问题的话，都可以听的。我们在全世界任何一个地方，只要有网络的地方，大家都可以听。In mainland China, China for example,、um, students mainly make use of live stream teachings on the internet, and this is something that students everywhere can also avail themselves of if there isn't too great a time difference. 然后就是为了解决这个时差，或者是有些师兄当天因为有其他的事情、有特殊情况，啊，就是没有来得及听，就是为了解决这个问题，我们第二天啊还重新播放，会重播的，所以都是比较方便的。For those students who, for reasons of time difference or because they're otherwise busy and not able to listen to a teaching, we usually provide、um, uh, a second broadcast of the teaching the day after, so、um, convenient conditions are provided. 那么这个网络的直播目前呢，就是由呃菩提学会
，菩提学会的这个课程是一个非常完整的、非常系统的课程。So in terms of this online、um, Dharma education, the、uh, Body Society, the p u t i s e h o i has a、um, very systematic, comprehensive curriculum. 还有另外一个叫做贤弥学会啊，这个贤弥学会也是无名佛学院的呃一个课程。那么这个贤弥学会这上面呢，也可以学到很多很多的佛经啊，或者是修法也是非常多的。Um, another alternative、uh, Dharma website or Buddhist study curriculum is that of the Xianmi Xiaohui, which is also、um, coordinated by、uh, Larong Buddhist Academy, and this is also a、uh, resource where students can study the sutric teachings and methods of practice. 然后另外一个呢，叫做慧灯之光啊，慧灯的禅修班是比较着重实修的一个另外一个班。那么这个的资料也都是在网络上，网络上我们每次啊上课的时候呢都有直播，哦，然后呢第二天也有重播，我们这些都可以学习。Another La Ronga coordinated、uh, study resource is the Hui Deng Chan Xiu Ban, which、uh, emphasizes practice and meditation perhaps more than the others. This, the resources of this website are all available online, and teachings that are live streamed are also restreamed the following day. 然后这些都是我们可以啊上网去听，自己可以下载，还有光盘，还有书。所以呢，啊，这个文思啊，就是学习方面呢。就是我们在相比之下，现在的条件是非常的成熟的，没有太大的问题。只要自己愿意学，还是啊，现在就是很方便的。So any of these、uh, websites or Dharma curriculums all provide opportunities for students to listen to material online, download them. There are DVDs, there are books. So from this point of view, our conditions. For Buddhist study, are quite good now. As long, just as, as long as、uh, students, in fact, have the desire, have the aspiration to study, then there are certainly resources at their disposal. Ah, this is Wen. Then the second is Si. Si is thinking. Ah, thinking. Because the Buddha teaches a lot of principles that are very profound, so we only listen to it, we can't understand it completely. 要反复的去思考。So the first of these three concrete approaches was study. The second is contemplation. Simply studying or listening alone to the teachings is not sufficient. We need to contemplate the content of the teachings over and over again. 那么这个思考的这个问题呢？啊，我们比如说一个人也可以独立思考，也可以的。但是呢？有十个、八个这样子的师兄啊，聚在一起，比如说像星期六、星期天啊这样子的时候，就聚在某一个地方，大家啊先啊这个学习听啊，听完了以后呢，大家讨论啊这样子的话，这个就是有些我们有些时候的疑问啊可以解决，还有自己的这些理解。也可以分享给别人，这个是一个比较好的方法。Of course, in terms of contemplation, this is something that we can do by ourselves. But another very good、uh, way of contemplating is to do it collectively with eight, perhaps or ten Dharma friends gathered together at someone's house, perhaps on a Sunday afternoon, and after listening to a teaching, discussing its、uh, contents with each other. This is a good way for Um, potential doubts to be resolved or potential questions to be answered, as well as a way to be able to share your understanding with others. 那么通过这个文和词啊，就通过这两个呃的学习啊，最后我们把每一个修法，就像初立心的修法，还有菩提心的修法，以及其他的这些修法，都要啊，首先要学好，首先要把这些修心的方法。都要搞清楚。So it's through study and contemplation that we are able to clarify the nature of 
Buddhist practice, whether it be uh, the practice of renunciation, bodhicitta, or another practice. 然后第三个呢，就是修啊，修是最最最重要的。这三个文思秀，这三个当中呢，修就是最关键的。And then the third of our uh, concrete approaches for practice is meditation practice, and of the three, this is really the most important. 这三个当中啊，修是最重要，但是呢。没有文和没有死，我们没有办法修啊，根本就不知道怎么样去修，根本就不知道什么叫做修。所以呢，这个文思修这三个是不能脱节的啊，都很重要啊。最后最后最后最重要的虽然是修心，但是呢啊，修心
或者是菩萨的再来啊，这样子的人现在很多，所以我们啊根本就分不清楚到底什么是佛法。These days, there are a lot of people who are、um, claiming to be all kinds of teachers or bodh bodhisattvas, holding up the banner of Buddhism and making all kinds of claims. Can be very difficult indeed to distinguish what is、uh, the true Dharma. If we learn Zangchuan Fu Jiao, then we should learn from the Master Zhong Kaipa Master's Pudi Dao Cidi Guang Lun. 还有，如果学尼玛巴的话，那么就是应该学大圆满的前心啊，普贤上师言教等等啊，这些珍贵的这些佛经。In terms of、uh, Tibetan Buddhism,、um, we should study texts like Tsongkhapa's Graded Stages of the Path to Enlightenment, or in the Nyingma tradition, works like the Words of My Perfect Teacher. 啊，如果我们学印度佛教啊，我们藏传佛教、汉传佛教都是离不开印度佛教。如果学印度佛教的话，那么我们现在可以学的也很多，就像《汝菩萨心论》，还有就是《龙树菩萨》的啊这些中论啊等等啊，应该学这样这些这个大家公认的这些高僧大德的著作。And of course, all of the Buddhist traditions are intrinsically、uh, linked to Indian Buddhism. In terms of the Indian Buddhist tradition, we can look at works like the Way of the Bodhisattva and Nagarjuna's teachings on、uh, the Madhyamaka. Ah,、uh, 就像我们今天的这个社会，就大家都是这个物质主义者，我们的身边的所有人都是物质主义这样子的环境当中。能够找到一个想学佛的这样子的发心或者是动机，非常非常不容易的。In a very materialistic society like ours today, to develop the aspiration or motivation to study the Dharma is in fact very very rare. 然后我们好不容易就有一个想学佛的这样子的心啊，进进入佛门以后呢。然后我们能够找到一个正确的路，也是很难很难的。Having or once we if we have this、uh, rare motivation or desire to study the Dharma, then once we have、um, entered the gate of the Dharma, finding in fact and the proper path to commence our studies on is in itself also very very、uh, rare. 呃，在这样子的时候呢，我们要能够走上一条珍贵的路啊，一个珍贵的路，这个非常的不容易，所以我们必须要学到啊真法，必须要找到这个呃真正的这个佛给我们指的路啊，否则的话，我们想学佛，但是呢，实际上就是走错路，这样子的话呢，也就是非常非常不划算的。So it's extremely important that we do, in fact,、uh, set out on a correct path and study the path that the Buddha, in fact,、um, taught us and provided for us. If, in fact, we hope to study, but、um, we have a desire to study, but end up setting out on an incorrect path, then this is extremely unfortunate. 那么大家必须要知道，不管是汉传佛教也好，藏传佛教也好。啊，正宗的佛教，它的核心的思想就是出离心、菩提心、证悟空心的简洁，就是这三个。Everybody、uh, should know that whether it's Chinese Buddhism or Tibetan Buddhism, the very core of the Buddhist teachings, the core of the Buddhist path, are renunciation, bodhicitta, and a correct view of emptiness. 所以我们啊，很多人。就是呃，自以为是学佛啊，自以为是学佛，但是呢，呃，根本就没有学到学学到佛，最后就是走上弯路啊。有这样子的，呃，有有我们现在的这个学佛的人当中，也有特别这样子的人是非常多的。所以，我们啊，学佛是一个非常不容易的事情啊。那么，既然这么不容易的事情，那么我们在这个上面呢？必须要，大家必须要精神一点，啊，精神一点，不能走错路。
There are a lot of people who uh, really have a strong desire to study the Dharma but end up um, studying or pursuing, in fact, an incorrect path. Given the fact that it, our opportunity to study the Dharma is as rare as it is, it's important that we actually be very careful about this and really prioritize the, um, finding a proper path to commence our studies on. 所以我们现在佛教尤其是在东方很多地方佛教现在是本来就是佛教佛教我们这个佛教的人才上面没有培养很好的这个生财那么就是这样子的原因就是出现很多很多的问题particularly in Asia um, there are many uh, problems or negative phenomena we can see, we can observe these days that have resulted from the fact that we haven't cultivated uh, generations of strong and outstanding teachers. 比如说, uh, One really serious problem is the commercialization of Buddhism. 比如说藏传佛教啊，灌顶的时候，然后就是要收钱啊，这个灌顶收多少钱，那个灌顶又是多少钱啊，然后价格都是写的清清楚楚的，然后把这个佛像啊搁在头顶加持了多少钱，那个
However, these days there are many people who are more interested in terms of acquiring things like magic powers, making money, etc., and in so doing, um, really undermine the sacred nature of the Dharma. Rahajishangwamanfo 然后藏川和汉川佛教里面也有太多这样子的新式的东西 there are a lot of Dharma centers, particularly in Asia, where students are not encouraged to learn the Dharma or to commit themselves to Buddhist practice. Instead, there is a proliferation of uh, Buddhist rituals like uh, fire offerings and talk offerings, an emphasis on going through the motions and externalities. This is a serious problem in the East. I'm not sure if it's um, like this in the West, but in any case, we should know either way that this is very problematic. 那么这一生当中我们就是遇到了佛法, 啊, that we have encountered the Dharma in this lifetime is an extremely um, precious and uh, rare opportunity indeed. So it's extremely important that we grasp the essence of the Buddhist teachings. The essence is that we and this essence is just as we uh, talked about last night, Jie uh, Tsung Kappa's teaching the three principal aspects of the path, renunciation, bodhicitta, and a correct view of emptiness. Rahotekachulishing 抓住佛教的这个核心和佛教的精华 So these three, uh, renunciation, bodhicitta, and a correct view of emptiness are the essence of the Buddha's teachings. And in terms of the way to go about practicing these teachings, as we just mentioned, study, contemplation, and meditation. This is the way that we go about actualizing or realizing the essence of the core Thought or the core content of the Buddhist teachings. Shiwan Daja 修心怎么样去修？啊，想学佛的话呢，就是一定要去思考这些问题。So uh, I hope, I wish that um, everyone here tonight uh, doesn't uh, participate too much in these kind of uh, superficial activities, and instead uh, applies themselves to the proper study, contemplation, and practice of Buddhism and particularly turns their mind to grasping what it in fact means to study, what it means to contemplate, or what it means to practice. This is extremely important. Uh,那么我们,啊,怎么样去学习呢?我们可以,比如说,家庭,一个家庭,或者是自己身边的这个朋友,同时,同学,啊,大家, uh, 
建立啊一个，比如说学佛的群啊，网上的群，或者是实际上我们可以建立一个学佛的小组。然后在这个小组呢，那每一个星期大家聚会啊，聚会的时候，首先我们啊去这个通通过网络去听这些呃网上的这些课，然后呢听完了以后呢啊大家讨论啊讨论，然后最后啊就在一个小时两个小时当中呢啊大家共修搭坐。啊，这样子的话，每个星期都有一个这样子的活动的话，那么这个就是比我们参加这些形式化和商业化的活动啊强得多。In terms of the study of Buddhism, one thing that we can do is to organize small study groups,、um, in, uh, uh, attended by members of our family, our workmates, our friends, etc. We can organize this online, or we can organize them better still face to face,、uh, meeting once a week. We can listen to teachings online, and after this, discuss their contents with each other. And after an hour to an hour or two of study, then we can engage in、um, practice together, in meditation practice together. And in fact, this is far far more useful than attending various、um, ritualistic activities. 然后修心这个呢，我们每个人都要工作，有很多很多的这个世俗的琐事都要处理，所以每个人都没有太多的时间。但是呢，我们啊还是啊要想办法每天都修心。比如说每天啊早上啊早起一个小时，在一个小时当中啊打坐啊一个小时，或者是四十分钟啊。也可以的，四十分钟到一个小时啊，大坐，早上大坐，然后呢，晚上啊，没有什么啊，这个其他的事情，比如说在国外的话，是不是这个应酬啊，这些是不是稍微少一点啊？那么这样子的话呢，那下班了，吃了晚饭以后呢，啊，然后再大坐啊，大坐一个小时，或者是。啊，四十分钟啊，这样子的话，那么我们每天都能够坚，每天能够坚持两个小时的这个大坐，这样子的话，已经是非常非常不错了。Of course, all of us are really busy in our everyday lives. At the same time, we really need to prioritize time for meditation practice. What we should be aiming for is. One hour or forty minutes in the morning, and then another hour or forty-minute session of practice in the evening. If we can persist, if we can maintain this practice of approximately two hours every day, then this is already a very considerable achievement. 那么每天的这个两个小时的时间啊，大坐的时间，跟我们的工作是不会有冲突的啊，跟我们的生活。也不会有冲突的，它不会影响到我们的工作，不会影响到我们的赚钱啊。所以呢，每天我们啊，就是想办法一个小时到、啊、两个小时，或者是八十分钟啊，减持啊，在特殊的情况下啊，就是实在是啊没有时间的话，那也没有关系。通常啊，能够能够坚持两个小时，已经非常非常不错。Practicing for two hours or eighty minutes each day will not come into conflict with our everyday、um, activities, our work lives, and other things we need to do. Of course, there may be certain situations where we need to skip our practice, but in general, continuing with eighty or two hours of meditation practice each day will be very good. 呃，然后休呃，这个星期六啊，星期天啊，这样子的时候呢，然后我们把这个大坐的时间啊稍微多一点啊，比如说啊，大家聚在一个地方啊，公修啊，这个叫做公修，大家一起学习、听课，然后就大家讨论啊，讨论完了以后呢，就是比如说一个下午。啊，两个小时或者四个小时这样子的时间当中，啊，大家一起啊大坐啊，每个星期只要没有什么特殊的这个情况啊，不需要出差，在这样子的情况下啊
同常啊，这个能这样子的话，那这也是非常非常好的。And then on the weekends, where we usually have more time at our disposal, on Saturdays and Sundays, we can apply more time to our study and our meditation practice. We can get together with a group of Dharma friends and engage in communal practice. After studying the Dharma together for a couple of hours, then we can meditate together and devote around four hours of an afternoon、uh, to our Dharma study and practice. In ordinary circumstances, unless we have to go away on business or do something else, this should be something that we are able to achieve. 那么这样子的修心啊，我们刚刚开始的时候呢，可能有一点点这个不适应啊，可能觉得有点枯燥。啊，但是呢，如果我们能够坚持的话，然后啊，这个修心上面啊，稍微能够投入一点的话，一定会有进步的啊。每个人都是一样，只要有只要有这个呃修啊，那么一定会有进步。那么当我们稍微有一点点进步的时候呢，然后我们对修心呢、啊、非常非常感兴趣啊，这样子以后呢，我们根本就不觉得枯燥。啊，根本就不觉得这个痛苦。那么这个时候呢，我们对修心非常感兴趣。这样子以后啊，我们这个这个修心可以给我们带来啊幸福感，叫做发喜充满。Of course, in the very beginning,、uh, setting out、uh, with this kind of schedule of practice might be something that we're not really used to. It might strike us as a bit dry and unappealing, not so interesting. However, it's something that if we're able to commit a bit of diligence to to begin with, we will certainly see results. And once we taste results, then we will、um, derive from this a sense of Happiness and this sense of happiness is、um, a delight that is associated with the practice of the Dharma. 那么这个修心呢、啊，这种修心呢，它可以解决我们的太多太多的问题。比如说我们在工作工作当中啊，就是所发生的啊、呃、压力、焦虑，还有就是在家庭或者是在生活当中所发生的很多很多的烦恼啊，都能够这个解决。啊，然后在很大的程度上，我们啊可以获得这个安全感啊，然后呢啊也有这个心里很踏实，然后我们的生活也就变得很充实啊。这样子的话，这个除了解脱以外啊，除了解脱以外呢，在现实生活当中，我们也能够看得到这个修心的啊，修心给我们带来的这些结果。This kind of、um, practice,、uh, not talking for the time being about goals of liberation, can bring us very、uh, results in our everyday lives that are very easy to observe. This kind of practice can help us address our stresses and pressures that result from our everyday lives, whether it be our working lives, our family lives, or our personal relationships. Um, so it's the case that、um, practicing like this can bring us immediate、uh, results in terms of、um, everyday well-being, apart from the greater goals we might have of liberation. 那么我们的这个两个小时的这个时间的呃呃修心啊，每天的两个小时或者一个小时的修心，还有星期六、星期天的这个公修啊。这个无论是有钱人，或者是没钱人啊啊，再贫穷的人也能做得到。这个根本就不会影响到啊这个工作。这个是我们的工作以外的啊时间啊，就是只是工作以外八个小时以外的时间，所以这个不会跟我们的这个、啊、工作和生活都不会有冲突。所以大家啊，大家一定要考虑一下，这个修心是非常非常的重要。This kind of daily practice in the morning and the evening and weekend practice is something that anybody can do, regardless of what their financial means or background might be. It's something that will benefit、um, everybody equally. It's something that everybody can do without、um, coming into conflict with their work obligations and other things they need to do. 
在一般的情况下，我们首先是解决我们的文保的问题，然后呢，再去思考精神上的这个东西啊。在一般的情况下是这样子的。In the ordinary order of things, we usually talk about first. Um, addressing our、uh, immediate needs of survival, and then addressing our spiritual needs. 但是我们这个每天的一个小时到两个小时的这样子的修心呢，啊，他贫穷的时候，我们也可以这样子去修心啊。然后呢，呃，不管是富裕的、贫穷的，任何一个人都可以这样子修心。这个修心根本就不会影响到我们的。啊，这个工作，所以啊，大家要投入到这个修心啊，文思修真的是非常非常重要。希望大家啊，重视这个问题。However, this kind of a practice where we meditate for two hours a day is something that anyone can do, whether they are of limited financial means or or whether they're very wealthy. So for this reason, I hope that everybody. Uh, can apply themselves to the proper study, contemplation, and practice of Buddhism. This is very, very important. 好，然后接下来我们就讲今天的这个、啊、主题的啊这个课，就是菩提心。I'm now going to move on to the、uh, core teaching of tonight, which is on bodhicitta. 那么菩提心，我们昨天也讲讲了啊。菩提心需要两个条件，有这两个条件。啊，就叫做菩提心。As we talked about last night, there are two criteria that go towards the satisfaction of bodhicitta. 那么两个条件当中的第一个条件呢，我们对所有众生的这个慈悲心啊，这个是最关键，也就是菩提心的基础。The first of these is the compassion that we extend to all living beings. It's very important. And this is the foundation of bodhicitta. 那么，慈悲心呢？啊，我们每一个人啊，虽然有慈悲心，但是呢，我们的慈悲心，当我们还没有修行的时候呢，非常有局限性。Even though everybody possesses、uh, loving compassion in their hearts, until we really engage in the、uh, practice of、uh, compassion. The extent to which we can generate it is quite limited. 那么慈悲心啊，什么叫慈悲心呢？我们昨天也讲过了。首先，这个悲大悲心就是啊，发自内心的，或者是诚心实意的希望，天下所有的众生能够啊，远离所有的痛苦啊，这样子的心叫做大悲心。So last night we talked about how compassion or great compassion refers to the sincere desire, the sincere wish that all beings be completely free from suffering. 那么慈心呢？我们啊，诚心实意的啊，发自内心的，或者是从骨子里希望天下所有的众生拥有心腹啊，拥有心腹啊，这个心。叫做慈心。And in terms of、uh, loving kindness or the loving aspect of compassion, this refers to the wish from the very depths of our heart that all beings have happiness and its causes. 那么这两个心啊，慈悲心就是这个菩提心的基，菩提心的这个基础，也就是大乘佛教的基础。大乘佛教的出发点啊，大乘佛教是以这个慈悲心作为出发点。So loving compassion is the foundation of bodhicitta, and it's also the very foundation of Mahayana Buddhism. It's the beginning or the departure point of the Mahayana teachings. 那么我们的今天的这个当今社会的这个教育当中啊，不管是东方也好，西方也好，这个教育的体系当中呢，就像慈悲心、利他心啊这样子的教育非常非常的少。Regardless of whether it's education in the East or in Western countries, in general.、Um, 
instructional education that emphasizes the importance of uh, compassion and an altruistic mind of benefiting others is very scarce. 在学校的这个教育当中呢，如果我们要要学到一个真正的这个慈悲心和利他心，是非常不容易的。In a normal school, in the normal school context,、um, it's very difficult for us to learn about、uh, compassion and the altruistic mind of benefiting others. So, we, in the Western Catholic Church, go to the Western Catholic Church to learn the Catholic faith. So, it's for this reason that we turn to the Mahayana tradition to learn about compassion. So, it's for this reason that we turn to the Mahayana tradition to learn about compassion. So, it's for this reason that we turn to the Mahayana tradition to learn about compassion. So, it's for 我们修慈悲心的时候呢，一般在大乘佛教里面就讲四无量心。四无量心就是慈悲、喜、舍啊、四格啊，不同的这个修法。如果我们稍微啊修的比较完整、比较全面一点的话，那么就要修慈悲、喜、舍啊这四个修法。In the Mahayana tradition, usually when we talk about the practice of、uh, compassion, this entails、um, learning and practicing the four immeasurables, which are love, compassion, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. Ah, 如果我们啊就喜欢修稍微简单一点的话，那就不修这个慈悲喜舍，就修两个啊，就是慈和悲。就修这两个，这两个当中都包含了。While a more comprehensive、uh, practice or、uh, practice of compassion would entail each of these four, a more、um, abbreviated form of the practice would focus on just love and compassion. These two. 如果我们希望啊再简单一点，或者是最简单的，因为我们没有那么多的时间呢、啊，或者是各种各样的原因啊。就是喜欢修最最最简单的这个修法的话，那么就在这个慈悲心事当中，就只修大悲心啊，大悲心就可以了。大悲心可以代替所有的其他的这个修法，所以我们啊，简单的话，喜欢修简单的，那就只修大悲心就可以了。However, if for whatever reason we Just wanted to focus on studying one of the four immeasurables for reasons of time constraints or for whatever reason. Then we could just focus on the practice of compassion. In fact, great compassion entails each of the other four and is a complete practice in itself. 那么我这个大悲心呢？我们每一个人都有有慈悲心啊，但是没有大悲心啊。没有大悲心，我们没有大慈大悲，但是我们有慈悲心啊。包括动物，很多时候也有慈悲心，他们也有慈悲心啊。动物也有慈悲心，也有同情心啊。那么我们人类就更加的有慈悲心，有这个同情心，但是我们就是没有大悲心，没有大慈大悲心。Of course, every human and even animals have、uh, compassion in their hearts. They have the capacity to feel compassion towards others and empathy as well. However, what、um, we lack, however, is great compassion or vast compassion. 比如说，我们的我们的慈悲心呢？比如说，我们对我们的儿女。对我们的亲戚朋友啊，对我们的父母，或者是对我们有关系的人啊，对他们，我们有慈悲心。但是呢，啊，除了这些人以外呢，比如说一个陌生人，或者是另外一种生命啊，我们的这个慈悲心基本上都很难升起。Usually, it's quite common for us to feel compassion. Towards our parents or our friends or other people who are connected to us, it's more difficult and rare, however, for us to generate this compassion to、um, people who are strangers or to other forms of life. 那我们现在啊，我们现在的工作是什么呢？就是把我们的这个非常有举贤心的这个啊慈悲心啊培养。啊，把它培养，培养了以后呢，慢慢慢慢的啊，这个小慈悲心啊，培养成大慈悲心啊，大慈大悲啊，这个就是我们的
这个工作，那么这个过程啊，这个过程，这个菩提啊，这个慈悲心的这个培养的这个过程啊，叫做修慈悲心。So the project, the task that really rests in front of us is that of growing or nurturing our、um, small compassion into a state of great compassion, and it's this process of nurturing or growing that we refer to as the practice of compassion. 那我们目前大多数的人就是只有这个小的慈悲心啊，没有大慈悲心，但是没关系的，我们。啊，只要稍微投入一下啊，稍微下一点功夫，这样子的话，这个慈悲心是完全是可以培养啊。这个小慈悲心完全可以培养成大慈悲心，这个完全是没有问题的。Most people only have a limited or a small compassion. Um, they、uh, lack, in fact, great compassion or vast compassion. This is something, however, though we can certainly change and rectify by applying a due amount of diligence. It's absolutely possible for us to grow our limited compassion into a great compassion. 啊，接下来我们啊，就给大家简单的介绍一下这个一个慈悲心的一个，尤其是这个大悲心的一个具体的修行的方法。And now I'd like to、uh, give a teaching on a concrete practice of cultivating compassion. 首先，我们要知道啊，首先我们要明白这个，我们为什么要修大悲心啊？然后，这个大悲心以及啊菩提心的重要性啊。首先，我们要知道我们为什么要修这个啊。如果我们还不知道我们为什么要修这个，不知道它的重要性啊，这样子的话，那么我们的修心。啊，不会很投入，所以首先要知道它的这个重要性。The first thing we need to do is understand the importance of bodhicitta and the importance of compassion. Why we need to go about、uh, practicing them? If we don't understand the reason or the importance of、uh, bodhicitta and compassion, then we won't really be able to apply ourselves fully to their practice. 那么。这个重要性呢？因为我们今天时间的关系，我们不啊啊不这个不光讲啊，不展开的讲啊。那么大家可以看啊《如菩萨心论》啊。那么这个《如菩萨心论》的第一篇啊里面，就是讲这个菩提心的啊利益，也就是菩提心的功呃这个重要性。In terms of the importance of bodhicitta,、um, tonight we're not going to talk about this in any extensive way. However, this is something that everybody can、uh, learn more about in the first chapter of the Way of the Bodhisattva. 那么菩提心的这个大悲心的修法是什么样子呢？首先啊，我们大悲心啊，对什么样的这个生命啊，升起这个大悲心呢？大悲心就是对啊，有痛苦的人，或者是有痛苦的众生，或者是不幸福的人啊，对这样子的人会会产生大悲心。In terms of、um, the kinds of objects for our compassion, the kinds of people or beings that we、uh, generate compassion towards. These people who are suffering, or other living beings who are suffering. Uh, so we first need to understand all the seven lives of the six lives, or at least we see the things that we see, for example, animals and animals. Uh, we need to understand deeply the pain of their suffering. So it's for this reason it's important at the outset that we develop an understanding of the suffering of beings in the six realms of samsara, or at the least the nature of the suffering of those beings that we can apprehend with our own eyes, that is humans and animals. 那么，当我们了解啊某一个人的痛苦，或者是某一种生命的这个痛苦的时候呢？然后我们人每个人的这个心底是善良的啊，每个人的这个我们每个人的这个心中啊有一个潜在的这个呃这个慈悲心啊
。那么我们当我们深入的了解某一个人或者是一个动物，他的这个痛苦的时候呢，我们一定会产生这个同情心。Given that we as humans have a latent compassion in our hearts, when we really come to deeply understand the suffering of another human being or of another、uh, life form, such as an animal, then we generate a feeling of empathy towards them. Then we deeply understand the suffering of another human being or of another life form, such as an animal. 远离这个痛苦，所以慈悲心一定会升起的。When we understand the nature of another's suffering, then naturally、um, comes with it the desire that that being be free of suffering. So it's for this reason that we will naturally be able to generate compassion. 那么我们的目前的最大的问题是什么呢？我们就是不了解。啊，除了自己以外的人的啊，这个痛苦的感受。The greatest problem that we currently face is that we really don't understand the suffering of others. We only understand the feeling of our own pain and suffering. 那么我们为什么不了解其他的人的这个痛苦呢？就是因为我们不关注啊，不关注别人的痛苦，我们永远都关注我自己的感受。啊，不关注别人的感受，所以我们不了解。And the reason that we don't understand the pain of others is that we don't pay attention to others' suffering. We're constantly focused on our own troubles and suffering. 如果我们稍微关注一下的话，这个非常的简单的东西啊，我们非常容易发现啊，其他众生啊，人类或者是动物的痛苦。If we even just paid the slightest amount of attention to other suffering, then we would relatively easily be able to gain an appreciation of the suffering of other humans and beings. So, to show compassion, we must start from noticing other people's pain. So, the cultivation of compassion really begins with paying attention to the suffering of others. 我们要学会啊，关注其他众生的这个痛苦。We need to learn how to be attentive to the suffering of others。那么，通常啊，我们的这个习惯性的、以往的这个做法是什么呢？就是我们特别特别的关注我自己的啊感受，然后呢，我们就完全忽略啊其他众生的感受。这个就是我们。啊、uh, ，普通人的啊， uh, 这个啊， uh, 普通人我们普遍存在的一个问题。As ordinary people, our conditioned habit is to pay attention or to be focused on our own suffering and pain, and not to pay attention to that of others. This is a very、um, common situation. 那么现在呢，我们把这两个换过来啊，就是。但是我们刚刚开始的时候，我们可能是做不到啊，忽略自己的这个感受，我们做不到，我们还是很很关注我们自己的这个感受，没有这个没问题。但是呢，我们同时啊，我们关注自己的这个关心自己的这个感受的同时啊啊，要关注啊，要关心啊，其他众生的这个痛苦啊，这个就是我们的。这个修慈悲心的开始。So whilst at the very beginning it may not be very easy for us to entirely invert this order、um, by which we're accustomed to observing the suffering of our others of ourselves rather than others, what we can do、um, in the beginning stages is, in addition to paying attention obviously to our own suffering and pain, begin to also be aware and attentive. Of the suffering of other beings. 那么我们平时啊，我们每一天就在这个电视、报纸这些上面呢，我们都看到这个啊，就全球就发生很多很多的事情。有些时候是空难啊，有些时候是自然灾害、战争等等啊，就是很多很多人非常的痛苦，很多很多人啊，这个呃、啊。
，有战争，有这个饥饿，有瘟疫等等，啊，但是我们就是，呃，就麻木了以后呢，我们就不觉这个就没有去关注它，哦，我们觉得又又又发生了地震了，啊，又怎么样了，又死了很多人了，就出了这样子的感觉。以外呢，没有一个很啊很深入的这个感感感受。Every day in the news, in the newspapers, we hear countless stories of all kinds of suffering, whether it be that of terrorist incidents or natural disasters, famine,、um, wars, etc. However, we are used to、uh, seeing or observing these accounts and regarding them really with indifference and apathy. It's in fact not common for us to really generate a really deep attentiveness to the suffering of the accounts in these、um, news stories. 那么这些灾难啊，就是如果轮到自己或者是自己的这个家人、亲戚、朋友这样子的头上的时候呢，然后啊，我们知道这个是很痛苦的。However, if these、uh, natural disasters were to occur、uh, to members of our families or people we knew, then at this point we would really gain an immediate appreciation of their suffering nature. So, we often, many times, ah, people are like this. For example, when we are healthy, we don't understand what the suffering of the sick is. There are powerful people who don't understand. 啊，这个底层的人的痛苦是什么样子？富裕的人就不了解贫穷的人的痛苦是什么样子。平时我们都不了解这些除了自己以外的人的感受。People are really、um, often like this. While they're healthy, they don't understand the suffering of people who are ill.、Uh, when they're in a position of power and privilege, they don't understand the suffering of the people at the lower rungs of society. When they're rich and wealthy, they don't have an understanding of the suffering of people who are poor. Really, aside from our own experience, we don't have much insight into the situation of others. 那我们怎么样去关注这个别人的痛苦呢？有一个非常具体的方法啊，有一个很具体的方法。比如说啊，比如说呃、啊，比如说我们去买菜啊，那么菜市场里面呢，如果有啊，比如说呃、啊、待宰的这个鱼、鸡、鸭、兔子等等啊这样子的这个呃、啊嗯、动物啊，动物就是。马上就要被杀的啊！这些动物，如果我们看到了一个这样子的动物啊，或者是或者是正在啊正在宰杀的啊这样子的这个动物的时候呢，然后我们稍微停下来啊，先看一下啊。平时我们不敢、不愿意看的啊，我们只愿意吃他们的肉。但是我们根本就不愿意去了解他们是怎么死的啊，然后这个过过程我们不也不愿意去看啊，不愿意去想啊，只愿意啊这个吃他们的肉。但是呢，我们不能这样子。这个这个时候呢，停下来啊，先看一下啊，看完了以后呢，然后整个过程我们看清楚了以后呢，然后回到家里啊，静下来思考一下这个问题。There's a very concrete way that we can go about、uh, cultivating、uh, compassion and awareness of others' suffering. For example, when we go to the market, if we observe animals, whether they be fish or birds, rabbits, etc., that are、um, on the cusp of death, or alternatively that are in the process of being killed, then we should stop for a moment and really observe with our own eyes the suffering and the pain that they're going through. Ordinarily, this is something that we turn away from. It's something that we really don't want to expose ourselves to. We're only interested in consuming the flesh of these animals. We're not interested in really having direct experience of their pain and suffering. So this is something that we should really open our eyes to and observe. And then, when we return to our homes, really、um, sit down and contemplate what we've seen. 那么这个思考就有几个步骤。只有几个步骤。第一个步骤呢，我们啊去思考这个
这这条鱼或者是这只鸡，它死的时候有多么多么的这个痛苦，多么的残忍啊！去去思考这个过程，然后呢，我们再去思考一下啊，如果我啊是这只鸡或者是这条鱼的话，那么会是什么样子啊？如果或者是说，如果这只啊这只鸡啊这条鱼。是我，或者是我的母亲啊，或者是是我的儿女的话，那会是什么样子啊？这样子去思考一下。This stage of、uh, this process of contemplation has several stages. The first is really thinking about the nature of the suffering of the animal, the bird or fish, for example, that we've just observed. The second stage is then. Contemplating, what if this animal were in fact me? Then the third stage is contemplating, what if that animal were perhaps not me, but my mother or my father or one of my children? 这样子的时候呢，如果我们的思维稍微比较认真一点，稍微比较这个注意力比较集中一点，稍微比较投入一点的话，那么这个时候呢，我们一定会产生。啊，一种恐惧感啊，一种恐惧感啊啊！这时候呢，我们啊，就是稍微这个啊，就有一点感受啊。平时我们啊，每天都看到这样子的事情，每天都听到这样子的事情，但是没有什么特别的感受啊。只要静下来，这样子去思考的时候呢，会有感受的啊，会有。这个时候我们开始了解。啊，别人的痛苦啊，这个时候呢，我们会有同情心和这个慈悲心会，这个之后就会产生的啊。这时候首先还不是第一个产生的，不是啊慈悲心，第一个就是恐惧啊啊，这个是第一个步骤。And by engaging in this practice, um, and with some degree of diligence, then we should be able to experience a feeling of terror. Um, with respect to what we are contemplating,、um, usually we see perhaps these things all the time. But because we're really not sitting down and applying ourselves to their contemplation, we don't necessarily get this feeling. However, by contemplating properly on it, then、um, we should, in fact, generate this feeling of fear.、Um, eventually, this will be the basis for us to generate empathy and compassion. However, in the beginning, what we're aiming for is this feeling of Fear or, or terror. 然后第二个步骤呢？啊，当我们这样子去思维啊，有这个恐惧的时候呢，然后我们再去思考第二第二个步骤啊。第二个步骤就是要想啊，这条鱼虽然不是我，也不是我的父母，也不是我的儿女啊，这只鸡也不是我，也不是我的儿女，但是呢，啊啊。比如说，我们啊，跟这个鸡或这只鸡或者鱼，或者是换一个另外一个众生啊，我们都有一个共同点啊。我们任何一个众生都是一样，有一个共同点啊。这个共同点是什么呢？我们所有的人啊，无论是人类，或者是动物，或者是另外一个众生啊，都是非常非常非常啊，不愿意。有啊，这个任何的痛苦啊啊，哪怕是很小的痛苦，我们也不愿意啊面对，不愿意接受。每一个众生都是这样子的，这是我们的共同点。So the second stage of the practice is then to move on, even though it the being experiencing the suffering is not me, it's not my parents, it's not my child. We need to contemplate the fact that. All of us have something fundamentally in common with this suffering being. It's something that all of us have in common, whether we're humans or animals, and that is that we have absolutely no desire for suffering whatsoever, however big the suffering may be, or however slight and trivial it may be. 第二个共同点呢，我们所有的人，所有的这个生命啊、呃，都是一样。非常希望啊，自己拥有幸福啊，拥有快乐和幸福啊，哪怕是很小很小的幸福和快乐，我们都希望有啊。这个是所有众生都是一样的。
The other thing that all living beings have in common is that we all seek happiness, no matter how small that happiness might be or how vast and great that happiness, happiness may be, all living beings similarly desire happiness. 这条鱼或者这只鸡呀啊它也不像有啊任何的痛苦它也希望有所有的这个幸福啊这个都是一样的那么这样子的话我为什么只关心我或者是我的儿女我或者是我的父母的啊这个感受为什么就不考虑其他
很多很多的众生啊，所以我一定要成佛啊。这个时候就会自然就会有这种想法。这个是第三个步骤，这个心啊产生的时候啊，出现了这样子的心的时候呢，然后就菩提心啊，我们就有了菩提心了。So then, the third stage of the practice is when we've generated a quite an intense feeling of compassion to other beings who are, who are experiencing suffering. The thought arises, the notion arises that we, based given their suffering, that we want to relieve them of their suffering,、um, help them resolve their suffering. However, in turning our minds to how we can really go about doing this effectively, we realize that for the time being, not really even being able to solve our own suffering, we're in a very weak position to be able to address the problems of others. It's for this reason that we need to follow in the teachings of the Buddha and achieve enlightenment and Buddhahood, so that we are able to benefit all beings most effectively. And it's when we've generated this aspiration、um, that we can be considered to have、uh, satisfied the requirements of the mind of Bodhicitta. 好，这个我们今天讲的呢，就是一个比较简单的这个修慈悲心，最后就是修菩提心的一个修法啊。因为我们今天是实践的关系，没有展没有办法展开的讲。但是呢，大家啊、呃、可以上网啊、呃、查这个资料，在这个回灯之光里面呢，有很多很多的菩提心的修法，有持有这个四无量心的修法。也有菩提心的修法，有五六种、七八种不同的这个菩提心的修法啊，大家都可以看这个呃视频啊，也有视频，也有书啊。那么就是把这个首先要学好，学完了以后呢，希望大家去修啊。这个菩提心的功德呢，真的是不可思议的。如果我们这一生当中啊。拥有菩提心啊！如果我们这一生当中修出菩提心，那么其他我们什么事情、什么这个功德都没有做，什么善啊都没有没有去做，善事都没有做的话，都没有问题的。我们的人生从此以后呢，真的是变得非常非常有意义。希望大家努力啊！希望大家注高度重视这个修法。So tonight, for reasons of time constraints, what I've offered is a condensed teaching on the practice of、uh, compassion and bodhicitta. Online、uh, and available in my books are more、uh, detailed instructions on how to engage in、uh, this practice. There are, in fact, teachings or instructions on five or six different types of compassion and bodhicitta practices that we can do.、Um, the Cultivation of bodhicitta is extremely important, and its merit, in fact, is inconceivable. In fact, if we don't do any other positive act or conduct in our existences, but manage to cultivate bodhicitta, then we will really be able to address a great number of difficulties, and our lives will become extremely meaningful from this point. So I hope that everybody. Uh, sincerely applies themselves to the study and the practice of bodhicitta. 好，我们最后回想。所能得以探知，是把念多念一百，只能把学讲几个，能解万能之百。这边做念珠啊，做若修。我们阿訇，半字歌者，把马舍得。我们红半针割着把马舍得红，我们红半针割着把马舍得红。谢谢谢谢阿弥陀佛。